A couple of times on this channel, I have covered the topic of the future of NASCAR, from three season predictions to playoff predictions and even fictional scenarios. In all of these videos, I have never went too far into the future, but in this video I'll be taking a look at the state of NASCAR in 2030, about 10 years from now. Let's get right into it. Before we get into the teams, let's take a look at some overall changes to the rules, the schedule and the points. In 2023, NASCAR returned to a season-long points format because of a zero-win championship run from Denny Hamlin the year prior. In 2030, the championship race is in Fontana. It got changed in 2023 as well and has been this way since because of the great racing it produces. In 2022, street courses were added, including one in Chicago. Michael McDowell dominated the inaugural race there, getting his second career win there. In 2024, the Nashville Fairgrounds returned to NASCAR, thanks to funding from many important faces in the sport like Marcus Limonis and Dale Jr. The Bristol Dirt Race was removed from the schedule in 2025 after a very violent wreck that injured the driver. This wreck took place due to high speeds at the track and the lack of visibility. Henrik Motorsports, now owned by Jeff Gordon, is currently the strongest team in NASCAR. Their roster has been the same since 2021, and while this is a good thing, many experts fear for the future of the team because of the lack of developmental drivers. All eyes are on the young Leo Gordon to carry the torch once older members of the team like Alex Bowman reach their peak. Henrik's commitment to their current lineup has put in question the careers of young drivers before like Sam Mayer, among others. It will be interesting to see how their long-term plans evolve. While the name suggests a joint ownership of the team, the former JGR is now entirely owned by two-time NASCAR champion Kyle Busch. It's a well-known fact that their current lineup has several weaker drivers that don't stand up to the performance of the lead drivers, those being Ty Gibbs and Christopher Bell. With Corey Haim listed to finally leave 2311 and join the mothership in 2031, many have started to speculate who will be the driver to lose their seat at the former Bauhaus. Hope is not yet lost because even if these newcomers don't live up to the hype, their leading driver in Ty Gibbs is expected to continue winning races and titles for years to come. Best of the rest has been the perfect way to describe Team Penske for the last decade. Many people blame different things for the decline of the team, including Keselowski's departure and the change of leadership from Roger Penske to Tim Sindrick. After losing the Wood Brothers and disbanding their Xfinity program, it has been rumored that the team wishes to downsize to just two cars, and as expected, Ryan Blaney is the odd man out. One of the happiest days of my life is how Chris Buescher described the moment he won the 2029 NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Many compare his legendary late career resurgency to that of Martin Trex Jr. in the mid to late 2010s. It's needless to say that Brad Keselowski leaving Penske brought life back into Roush Fenway Racing, now called Keselowski Fenway Racing. This team has slowed down a bit after Buescher's championship run and after Keselowski's retirement the same year but second-year Cup Series driver Haley Deegan and the young Riley Herbst are slowly but surely getting in a race-winning form. Penske is slipping with one eye open because soon enough they might lose the spot of number one at Ford. People saw it through the cracks of Stuart Haas racing as early as 2021. Slowly but surely the team fell apart and with the retirement of Kevin Harvick in 2023, Stuart Haas racing decided to downsize to just two cars. Now named Stuart Harvick Racing, the team is looking forward to the arrival of their fresh, new talent in Keelan Harvick and Cash Sharon Boyer, who many believe to be the last chance of a potential SHR comeback. Was the team always this weak? Was Kevin Harvick just that good? We may never know. What we do know is, SHR will be back and they will be out for redemption. Richard Childress Racing was one of the many teams that just happened to be on the right side at the right time. Being a Chevy team, they automatically had some of the speed Hendrick had for the last decade. Tyler Reddick managed to bring home a title for RCR after a fierce points battle with Ty Gibbs. The 2028 season would be decided by only two points. Throughout the 2020s, RCR expanded their team multiple times, getting a third car for Matt Snyder in 2024 and a fourth car for Jeb Burden in 2025. The future is bright for this team, and everyone is expecting the wins to continue coming in. Being in the shadow of Trackhouse during its first years, 2311 finally broke out of its shell in the mid-2020s and has been winning races ever since. However, they are missing a championship-level driver to call their own, 
mostly helping Bush Gibbs Racing develop its young talent. This team has gotten to a point where they can stand on their own, so many wouldn't be surprised if 2311 drops Bubba Wallace for a more skilled driver if they have the chance. For now, they have to make do with what they have, even if that means being second fiddle to Bush Gibbs. Junior Motorsports, the spiritual successor of Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, is a NASCAR Cup Series team owned by Dale Earnhardt Jr. Being the team that produced the most recent champion in Sam Mayer, all eyes will be on the team in 2031. Rumor has it that JRM wants to expand to a free car team at some point, but it is unconfirmed what the number will be and what who will drive it. Trackhouse found success in a bottle as soon as they joined the Cup Series. With a victory in the 2021 Coke 0400, they solidified their spot in the sport. Shortly after, they expanded to a two-car operation with a 98 car and picked up a young Noah Gragson. While they still have a long way to go until they compete week in and week out for wins, they are hopeful that they are on the right path. Alright everyone, that will be it for this video. I originally had two more teams I wanted to cover, that being Chip Ganassi Racing and Richard Petty Motorsports. But as, as we were writing the scripts, I realized that they weren't that interesting, so I just uh, scrapped them. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing and liking the video. That would help me out a lot. If you want to join my Discord server or follow me on Twitter, you can do that by looking in the description down below. That will be all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.